working on figuring out ways to make more affordable vehicles is really the, the game changer. Like for, for most people, it is really not a question of, of whether they want a Tesla. They do want a Tesla. They simply do not have enough money to afford one. So we have to make it affordable. That's, that's essential. Just a few months ago, Tesla provided a significant update on its product roadmap for its electric vehicles. There had been reports that Elon Musk had ordered a halt on the development of Tesla's NV91 and NV92 projects, which were new, more affordable electric vehicles based on an unopened platform. Tesla confirmed that only the so-called robo-taxi, codenamed NV93, was planned on this new platform. However, to replace the NV9192, Tesla has outlined plans to introduce new vehicles, including more affordable models, utilizing aspects of the next generation platform as well as the current platform. Electrek has learned that these vehicles will be based on the Model 3 and Model Y, but will feature fewer premium options, resulting in lower costs. CEO Elon Musk recently revealed a slide with Tesla's EV product roadmap. This slide raised several questions. Firstly, people are examining the shapes of the covered vehicles, with some speculating that the bottom left shape indicates a truck based on its form. The remaining two covered vehicles have identical shapes, which strongly suggests they are the Model 2 and the Robo Taxi, also known as the Cybercab. These developments give us a clearer picture of Tesla's production plans and hint at the features and pricing of the much anticipated Model 2 and Cybercab. The affordable Model 2 is likely to share many elements with the Cybercab, especially given their shared platform, but each will serve distinct purposes in Tesla's expanding lineup. 1. What's the latest on the Cybercab and how does it impact the Model 2? I think Tesla could arguably have the lowest cost per mile robotaxi because, unlike all of these other robotaxi companies, they're actually a vehicle manufacturer. Given the current situation, it appears Elon Musk is prioritizing the robotaxi or the Cybercab's launch before the Model 2. To better understand the Model 2, we need to first look at the Cybercab's current status. The Cybercab is a robotaxi developed from the Model 2 with a two door design, large trunk, and coupe styling. As Tesla's fully autonomous vehicle, the Cybercab will serve the company's taxi fleet and potentially other taxi fleets in the future. Previously, it was not expected to be sold to individual customers, but Tesla has changed their plan. This vehicle is not just for use as a robo-taxi, but may also be sold on the market. This focus requires Tesla to ramp up production to meet the anticipated demand. The Cybercab will feature no steering wheel or pedals. This design, based on images and short videos from Tesla, as well as photos from Walter Isaacson's book, shows the Cybercab as a two-seater with a central display to adjust personal settings, emphasizing passenger experience over performance metrics. Despite Cybercab and the $25,000 affordable car being different models with distinct purposes, they will share Tesla's next-generation vehicle platform. Also, to successfully deploy the Cybercab, Tesla needs to achieve Level 4 or 5 autonomous driving, meaning the vehicle can operate entirely without human supervision. Currently, Tesla's full self-driving FSD technology is at Level 2, requiring driver oversight. Reaching Level 4 or 5 is essential to meet regulatory requirements and ensure passenger safety. Production of the Cybercab will take precedence over the $25,000 affordable car. Musk believes that self-driving technology will yield greater economic benefits, hence the delay in the affordable model's launch until after the Cybercab's production is stabilized. Cybercab production will be overseen by Tesla's top engineers and managers at Gigafactory Texas, with manufacturing expected to begin in late 2024 or early 2025. During Tesla's Q4 and fiscal year 2023 earnings report, Elon Musk announced that production of Tesla's compact EVs would start at Giga Texas, followed by Giga Mexico. Musk hinted that Tesla might announce a third production site for its next generation vehicle outside of North America. The Model 2 is expected to be produced at Gigafactory Texas in the second half of 2025 and at Gigafactory Mexico starting in 2026. The Cybercab, however, is scheduled to be launched earlier on August 8, 2024. Do you think this timeline makes sense? Comment 1 if yes, 
comment too if no, and share your thoughts on a reasonable production timeline in the comment down below. 2. How does the Model 2 compare and contrast with the Cybercab? Tesla's compact electric vehicle, dubbed the Model 2 or Model Q, is generating considerable anticipation. This version will have a traditional steering system. Gigafactory Mexico is slated to manufacture these compact cars using Tesla's groundbreaking, unboxed process manufacturing technique. Despite previous rumors of its cancellation, Elon Musk has confirmed that the Model 2 is still in development. The Model 2 is expected to be priced around $25,000 and may qualify for US government subsidies, potentially reducing the actual cost to about $20,000. With a budget-friendly approach and body style typical of affordable EVs, the Model 2 might be a scaled-down version of the Model 3 or Model Y. Potential body styles include a small hatchback sedan or a compact car with fewer features than the Model 3 or Model Y. The final design is likely to feature a closed front grille, similar to the Model 3 sedan, with sleek LED headlights and taillights and a low hood. A relatively high roofline will enhance visibility an advantage at intersections, while a subtle rear trunk spoiler will aid in airflow management. Though the rear window of the Model 2 may be small, expect it to come with numerous cameras and self-parking technology to avoid parking mishaps. The Model 2's hatchback design could make it more practical than the current Model 3, with easier trunk access and better accommodation for bulky items. While the exact luggage capacity is unknown, we know that the Model 3 can fit nine carry-on suitcases using both the rear trunk and the small front trunk, or frunk. Model 2 might feature a thin LED strip running the width of the vehicle, similar to the upcoming Tesla Cybertruck. Inside, Tesla's minimalist interior design could be even more stripped down in the Model 2, with fewer luxury amenities like heated rear seats. Different from Cybercab, this version will retain traditional driving controls with a steering wheel and pedals, catering to customers who prefer direct control. The Model 2 will likely offer seating for five and most functions controlled via the same 15.4-inch, horizontally-oriented touchscreen found in the Model 3 and Model Y. When it comes to features, the Tesla Model 2 is set to come equipped with the necessary hardware for full self-driving (FSD), a hallmark offering of Tesla. It's highly unlikely that the Model 2 will lack FSD capability, especially if it's designed to function as a robo-taxi. The anticipated range of the Tesla Model 2 is expected to be around 250 to 300 miles, based on current Tesla standards and competitive capabilities. It may utilize lithium-ion phosphate batteries, similar to those found in many Model 3 vehicles. Reports from China suggest the Model 2 could also incorporate BYD's Blade batteries, a new technology designed to address concerns about battery fires and charging. Regardless of the battery type, the Model 2's minimum operational range is expected to be at least 250 miles, with potential variants including a long-range and performance model. Priced affordably, the Model 2 is expected to strike a balance in performance. While all Teslas provide a sporty feel, the Model 2's acceleration from 0 to 60 mph may be slightly slower, around 5 to 7 seconds. It will still deliver Tesla's instant torque, but may offer a less thrilling driving experience, and the suspension quality might be somewhat reduced. A novel approach to assembly involves maximizing efficiency with less, including the use of larger, more efficient, 46 and 80 cylindrical cells and potentially adopting the 48-volt architecture seen in the Cybertruck. The Model 2's batteries will also be newer and more efficient than Tesla's current offerings, leveraging technology that could potentially increase range by up to 16% per kilowatt-hour. In theory, this means a battery pack half the size of a 60-kilowatt-hour pack used in the Model 3 could enable the Model 2 to travel approximately 180 miles between charges, this figure is lower compared to what rivals like the Bourne, MG4 and ID2 might achieve, though it's important to note those competitors offer larger battery capacities. However, with fast charging capabilities in approximately 27 minutes like Model 3, this might not pose a significant disadvantage for owners. 3. 
How will Tesla's ambitious Master Plan Part 4 impact the production and consumer experience of the Model 2? After the Tesla shareholder meeting, Elon Musk continued going to X and tweeted, Working on the Tesla Master Plan 4, it will be epic. Tesla's upcoming Master Plan 4 is not just about cars, it's a visionary roadmap that aims to revolutionize industries. Central to this plan is the development of Optimus, an advanced humanoid robot and artificial general intelligence, AGI. In the context of Tesla's production strategy, Optimus could redefine assembly lines. By integrating humanoid robots capable of performing complex tasks with precision and consistency, Tesla aims to streamline manufacturing processes for the Model 2. This could lead to increased efficiency, reduced production costs, and potentially faster turnaround times for delivering vehicles to customers. Moreover, AGI is slated to elevate user experiences across Tesla's product lineup. Whether purchasing a Model 2 or opting for the innovative Cybercab, AGI promises to enhance autonomous driving capabilities, safety features, and personalized user interactions. Imagine a Tesla vehicle that learns from its driver's habits, anticipates needs, and adapts in real time, all powered by AGI. This integration not only reinforces Tesla's commitment to cutting-edge technology, but also positions the Model 2 as a front-runner in the competitive landscape of compact electric vehicles. Tesla's Model 2 hatchback enters a competitive arena among small electric vehicles, challenging rivals like the Cupra Born, MG4, Renault 5, and Volkswagen ID2 with its blend of affordability, performance, and innovation. The premium electric vehicle market is poised for growth, with Audi's A3 successor set for 2027 and BMW's Electric One series soon after, reflecting a broader shift towards electrification ahead of the UK's 2035 ban on new gasoline and diesel vehicles. In conclusion, with Elon Musk's ambitious plans and the innovative technology driving Tesla's new models, the future looks promising for Model 2. What features of the Tesla Model 2 are you most excited about? How do you think the Cybercab will change the future of transportation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our latest updates. Thank you for watching.